What's cracking, folks? It is I, CFK Crew, here to bring you some more Total Extreme Wrestling 2013 edition. Yep, WWE, the lead up to WrestleMania. There are less than two weeks left until the big show. And on this edition of WWE SmackDown on the USA, wait, is this sci fi still? This is USA Network. Yeah, USA. On USA Network, here's our scheduled stuff. We have Xavier Woods taking on Heath Slater. We have The Miz facing Neville. We have the highlight reel this week featuring WWE Divas Champion Charlotte. We have the United States Champion Alberto Del Rio taking on AJ Styles in a non-title match. And for our main event, we have Rusev, Sheamus, and Bad News Barrett taking on Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, and the number one contender for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, Roman Reigns. Are you ready? And we are back. I totally forgot about this at the time when I started off, but I'm in Puerto Rico. Which means if you don't speak Spanish, you'll have a problem with language barrier. Should have had the real talk instead of Triple H, but whatever. <clears throat> the show starts with a scene backstage with WWE World Heavyweight Champion and COO Triple H talking to the League of Nations. He tells them that he needs them to find his title back. After they allow Dean to snatch it out of carelessness, he also tells them all that they have matches tonight as punishment. As League of Nations begin to complain, Triple H reminds them that he is indeed COO and he can fire them for incompetence. He dismisses them to find Dean, break Dean, and return his championship. As soon as they're out the door though, Dean Ambrose hops out from underneath the desk with the World Heavyweight Championship over his shoulder. He knocks Triple H out with it and starts rummaging through all the papers on the COO's desk. What's he looking for? He finds a stack of papers and then the camera fades away. Ah, oh, shame is bad news better than Bruce ever getting better. That's awesome. Aww. The New Day come out, but without Kofi. Xavier tells the crowd of Puerto Rico that Kofi will be out for the next month and won't be healthy until after WrestleMania. So in their title defense against those dastardly, dirty, disgusting Dudley boys, he will have to fight. And so he has asked to have a few matches to get himself ready. Big E, however, shouts out that even though they are one man down. We do not have our hands down. So clap for your world famous two time champs and feel the power. It's a new day. Yes, it is. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. New day rocks. New day rocks. Okay. In about to have solid in-ring action, but not much in the way of heat, Xavier was defeated Heath Slater in 822 by Pinfall with a TKO. Should have been a... A Gadoken. Yeah. After the match, the Dudley boys come down with the table, looking to put Xavier through the ringer like they did Kofi just the other day. However, this time Big E isn't occupied by the social outcasts, and he manages to fend them off Fend off the two, fend off the two, to allow Xavier to escape unscathed, along with Francesca too. New day rocks. New day rocks. Everybody! Renee is backstage with the primetime players, who are announcing that they will be participating in the Andre the Giant Battle Royale. Just as the interview was getting good, which I'm assuming means... Titus started to say something dumb, and Darren's like, I don't want to do this. Like, come on, man, come on. You're such a bitch. No, I'm joking. Uh, just the interview was getting good, however, they are distracted by the Miz, who was following Neville around, trying to imitate his accent. 
Neville seems to be getting fairly irritated and tells the Miz to go bugger off and tell their match later on tonight. In a match, ugh, a match that has some good action, but not much in the way of Pete, Neville defeated ne the Miz in a 10:46 by countout. Uh, Miz and Neville don't click at all. Unfortunate. Guess that's not a feud. A video package plays, highlighting Sammy and Kevin Owens' story past together. It's the highlight reel, and Jericho's guest tonight is WWE Divas Champion Charlotte. Jericho asks the Divas Champ how she's dealing with her father being in the hospital, and she doesn't respond too well. She says that she knows it was Sasha because Becky got attacked later on, and they're both in the Divas triple threat match at WrestleMania. She says that there is one thing you do not do, and that is disrespect a flair. She doesn't care so much that Becky's being attacked. Hopefully she'll be too hurt to wrestle at WrestleMania. So it could be just Charlotte and Sasha so she can make sure she gets what she deserves. The crowd is totally against her, even though everybody loves Rick. Everybody loves Rick. Out comes Becky the lyncher. I'm not going to say that again. Limping to the ring. She grabs a mic to say that the last kicker won't go down that easily. At WrestleMania. That's, that's more of a... That's more Seamus. At WrestleMania, she's going to win the title. Even if she's beaten, battered, and broken. Because she has integrity. Unlike Flair. In Def... Def... I don't think I spelled it right. Definitely unlike Sasha. She calls out Sasha to fight her face to face. But of course, the boss doesn't show up. Right, language barrier, Jericho, tag nab, that's why it sucked. A video plays hyping Daniel Bryan versus the Undertaker. And about the featured great action, average heat. AJ Styles defeated Alberto Del Rio in 1607 by pinfall by using underhanded. No, that's not what happened. AJ won clean. Jericho came out to try to distract AJ, and it didn't work. It is getting even better. Scary. An image displays showing that on Monday Night Raw, Sasha, a uh, Stephanie, the fuck? Stephanie has something important to say. Unlike every other time, she opens her mouth. And even then, it still will probably not be something important. <sighs> no psychology. And a match that had some good action, average heat. League of Nations, Rusev, Sheamus, and Bad News Barrett defeated Roman Reigns and the Usos in 1436 when Sheamus defeated Jey Uso by pinfall with a handful of tights. During the match, we also had Dean Ambrose distract Roman Reigns. More specifically, during the I spelled during wrong. During the match, Dean came out with the WWE World Heavyweight Championship and tries to stare down Roman, who was too caught up on Dean that he missed the tag from his cousin Jay, which allowed him to get pinned. During the segment, Sheamus and Barrett were also trying to decide whether to throw the match to go after Dean like Triple H said, or to try to pick up the win. And they decided to go with the latter. So this is a C show. C plus. Not bad. I expected worse. I expected it to be awful. Absolutely devastating. Uh, I always worry about emails. I don't think I have anything. Adrian Reese. Athena. Nope. You will not be called up before Mania. Save the game. And say, alright folks. Thanks for watching. Next time we will have the Raw before Mania. And then we'll have the Smackdown before Mania. Then we'll have Mania. And that'll be it. We'll be finished with this series because uh, TW2016 is out. And I've been playing that with WCW. So I'm... For the time being... Yes, for the time being, I'll put off on doing a WWE playthrough. Once I finish out. It's three more weeks. Monday. So Monday. Thursday. Sunday. I only have three more weeks. Uh, I might just 
I'll, I'll just probably stick with uh, WCW for a while. I'll probably come with come back to WWE uh, later on because I really want to do the brand split. That's something that I'm very I like doing. Brand splits are fun. That's why I played SmackDown vs Raw 2007 so much as a little wee one because it was enjoyable. But also, uh, I have some other things that'll be coming to the channel soon. There will be a surprise that should be coming soon. I think. I might even record it today. I probably won't. Because we all know that I don't record when I say I'm going to. Yep. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. And, uh... Get out of here.